In just a few months time, birds will start migrating south for the winter. They'll be back in the spring. It's just part of their endless cycle of life. But for one special falcon in Paddock Lake, it's taken five years for him to fly back home. And he couldn't have done it without the help of Central High School's senior class of 2019. Pauline Lee tells us the tale of the Falcons' triumphant return. It's iconic. It's a part of Central. The motto at Paddock Lake's Central High School is simple. Once a Falcon, always a Falcon. And that motto is embodied in a larger-than-life statue that sits outside the school. Look pretty good? I think so. As Caitlin Hill will tell you, this is no ordinary statue of the school mascot. We knew we had our work cut out for us. Long before the Falcon statue came to be, it was a huge white oak tree more than a century old that stood on the school grounds. Generations of students enjoyed the shade with its roots and wisdom. It's just a part of the school. It's iconic. It used to sit in front of the school. And as the tree grew, so did the school. A new parking lot was added, but some say the roots were damaged during the construction. The tree grew weaker over the years until it just couldn't be saved. That's when a falcon was carved into the trunk. But when the trunk could no longer survive, the falcon statue had to go. It hasn't been seen since. And everyone just talked about it, so I was like, well, why not bring it back? Caitlin was determined to do just that her senior year. But it proved to be a tougher task than she thought. No one would tell me anything. Even our uh, principal didn't know where it was. Six months after her search began, Caitlin found the statue about 15 miles away from school. It had been sitting in a tree lot farm in Burlington, weathering the weather for five long years. It was really bad. Like they told us it was bad, but it was, it was pretty bad. So um, on the right side of the falcon, there was a huge hole in the eye. And we're like, ooh, we don't know about this. This is the eye that had to be replaced? Yep, the top part. Caitlin is the vice president of the senior class. She and the other class officers were determined to restore the statue to its former glory as a parting gift to the school from the graduates of 2019. We did need a class gift, and I always think that gifts should be something personal, something memorable. And this is definitely personal and memorable because anyone and everyone talks about it. They pulled together the money their class raised in their four years at Central, along with donations. That was a job. It was most definitely a job and enlisted Kevin Snyder and his crew at Arbor Images to help. She took me to it, she showed it to me. At that point, we seen how bad it was. She asked me what I thought, and I said, yeah, I think we could fix it and save it. The statue was brought to the shop for some much needed TLC. Sanding and grinding and you name it. They carved out at least a week's worth of time ridding the core of its rot and setting their sights as far as the falcon eye could see. This is the piece that went into it. And it was a log about this big. We stuck it right down into about here. It turned out really good. We tried to keep it as close to original as possible. What do I think about this thing? I think it was a lot of work. <laughs> then it was time to migrate home. And the tarp was over the head so you couldn't see it yet. And as soon as they took it off, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's back. It looks better than ever. People were crying, people were cheering. It was just a really cool moment to be a part of. The Falcon statue was back. I think he's back where he belongs. And just in time to see the students fly from this nest and soar to their next great adventure. So it was really cool then on graduation day for everyone to come out here and take pictures with the falcon. And but before they spread their wings, Caitlin and the senior class are making sure the falcon feels at home and is well taken care of. They're raising money to build a shelter over the statue. It won't stay like that forever, so we need to cover it. Keep them dry uh, when it rains, be able to keep the snow off of them in the winter because we know how bad Wisconsin winters are. I mean, this thing could stand here for another 100 years. And if home is where the heart is, well then this falcon has had a change of heart for the rival Wilmot Union High School Panthers. There's a little heart here, there's a little panther. So your Wilmot. kids went to Wilmot and yeah. then you helped the rival school with their math? Well, I, yeah. <laughs> all in good fun, all for the triumphant return that is the falcon statue. It's just something that like the whole community can be a part of.